A new report by a transportation research group finds that one quarter of Maine's roads are in, quote, poor condition. The group, called TRIP, released the report, which details some of the major issues with Maine's infrastructure. News Center's Chris Costa shows us how transportation officials propose to fix those problems. You see it and hear it everywhere. Road work. I mean, there, there are a lot of potholes. I cringe every time I go through one. One bump can really hurt. You see a lot of it. You see a lot of repairs that need to be done on front ends. Auto technician David Hunt There's more than two thirty seconds on says it's a constant problem for drivers. Tires, wheels, tie rods. That's not cheap. Nope, not at all. That here in Maine, a new report from the transportation research group Trip says more than one quarter of Maine's major urban roads are in poor condition. The system is, is really taking a pounding and the region's falling behind. The report says that people in the Portland area pay an extra $1,000 a year in extra vehicle operating costs. All the drivers in the state total about $1 billion. When you don't make the improvements, it's the public that pays for it. They see the bond issue on the November ballot as a solution. Those conditions are only going to get worse and more costly to address unless you make the investments that are needed now. The bond issue would give $100 million to the state to rehab roads and build more infrastructure. The federal government would match that with about $137 million. The Maine Better Transportation Association says the last time a bond issue like this failed was almost 50 years ago. We feel confident that the voters do recognize the need for a strong, well-maintained infrastructure. One less trip here makes drivers happy. They don't want to fix their cars any more than, you know, anybody wants to repair a car. In Portland, Chris Costa, News Center.